Hello, I'm going to show you how to pay for the projects. Uh, here we have a couple of projects uh, added to the crowdfunding platform. For example, project Beautiful Beaded Bracelets. Here we have as usual project homepage, updates page, which should be added by project owner and funded by. Uh, please note that here we have free bakers, free funders for this project. Um, one person named himself Santa Claus, second named himself Admin, and third payer didn't name himself at all. Okay, let's pay for this project. For example, let's select this middle mm, threshold of $20. I'm clicking pay $20. And now I will be forwarded to the page where I can enter all the information. Server, our server for demo version is very slow, so that is why it's not working pretty much fast. Okay, we are on the payment page. Uh, $20, but this can be changed. Uh, selected amount is here. Mm, step to personalization visible show my name and amount let's enter um, memorizable email m memorable for example um free 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 mm, gmail.com my name will be anna for example country um russia address Mm, street, that's not important. City, mm, Moscow, state, Moscow, zip code. All this information, email, name, country, will be visible to the project owner. So he will know who paid him, how much, and where to send the present for this bake and comment also let's add some kind of comment which we will recognize for example mm, hello is it me looking for step for payment contribute here we have a pop-up little window which is asking us to review information about our payment again Let's click continue, everything is right, email address, contact email address, amount contribution. Let's proceed and go to PayPal. Mm. Currently I'm logged in PayPal for developers. It was developed especially for people who are testing complicated mm, payment gateways, integrated complicated schemas. I'm logged in here as myself Natalie Klaus okay email address here I should enter um, this email address email address for Baker this is email address which is having enough money for payment and this it's PayPal account and this is its password let's take it and let's enter this information here uh, for example here uh, site owners blah 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 uh, will be name of your website um, let's log in and click pay twenty dollars Here also all the information 
you will be adding this information then you will be submitting your application to PayPal for testing and now they say that you've completed your payment successfully and after that automatically PayPal redirecting user back to website let's check if our payment became visible visible here we yes I can see already that it did because it's $52 now raised it was just 32 4 funders it used to be just 3 funders let's see funded by Anna that's right this is the name we entered and comment hello is it me you're looking for yes that's right um, I also would like to mm, attract your attention that anybody can pay um, if bakers do not even have to register or log in to the website they can fund absolutely anonymously and payment happened will happen directly on PayPal so no information everything is uh, pretty clean and simple and accurate PayPal will be testing it all anyway <sighs> what else oh, I would like to show you very fast database mm, here we have mm, table which is named payments uh, PayPal pro payment that's it and here all the information during pay which was which happened during payment process will be stored for example we have amount email uh, well everything and also which is important we have pay key this is unique code which was given by paypal especially for this transaction uh, we have payment status it can be finished started for example if person clicked continue when he was forwarded to PayPal but he changed his mind for some reason but PayPal already gave uh, this unique uh, transaction ID to this person this person just changed his mind for some reason and uh, just went away so why this can be useful uh, this can be useful because still this information will be recorded and project owner will see that somebody came and tried to pay but didn't finish his payment so project owner will be able to contact this person and ask him why payment wasn't proceeded mm, maybe some questions or doubts so he can solve this and also all errors which happened during payment also can be will be recorded in the database here for example let's see what's happened here why error appeared during payment uh, PayPal sent this information er error and its status and we recorded all this information to the database error while trying to create payment error while trying while paying the amount exceeded the individual transaction limit limit of user so that means that somebody tries to pay a lot but he was not allowed by paypal because of limitation for this precise users users account uh, if you would like to know anything else please contact me and I will clarify okay mm, that's all I think thank you bye